guys, what's up? It's me, Savvy Savage here, and we're back at again with another video. This time, we're doing something different. Welcome to another installment of the Hyperbolic Tech Chamber. We're gonna go. We're gonna do a character breakdown. I only did one character breakdown so far, and that was of Goku. This time, we're gonna go over Bardock. He has been out for like a good solid week now, so I I've got a decent feel for him. Well, not. I've got a decent feel for him, but like, it's, I think I know him well enough to do a character breakdown for him. So I'm going to go over his specials, his supers, and his overall play style, and some tips and tricks for him. So without further ado, let's fuck it up. So, right now, his quarter circle forward, this little launch, lunge strike, I don't know the name of it, I'm just going to call it quick shot, so, it's quick shot, it, it's a decent tool, it covers like, not the entire screen, but like, the majority of it, in like, a real quick pace. It's fast paced. It can catch your opponent off guard. It can be done on the ground or in the air. It covers the majority of the screen. No, it, don't. it covers the majority of the screen. It's quick. I would. You could like throw this out and be. You can be kind. You can be most likely safe. What up, boss? Excuse me. You can be most likely, not most likely safe, but you will be safe. You can just throw it out in a combo string. You can just throw it out randomly. And the opponent wouldn't be affected. In the air, boom. Look at him. He's going back and forth. That's his light version. And that's also his assist. Let me call in. Let me call him in. You really made a mess of things, huh? That's also his assist. Granted, his assist strike, granted, when he's an assist, it takes longer for him to do it, but overall, it's good. We have the medium version, which is an up strike. And a, a little tip about this his up strike has a jump install. What jump install means is you can still air dash in the air so you can do this so you can do this while in pressure to take out your opponent you can do this you can do this in the air to further like get away from your opponent I mean the possibilities are endless you can do this while in a block string uh -huh. Call him Vegeta. But yeah, you can do it to like fake your opponent out. One thing I like to do is have Kibble on my team when I'm Bardock. Just to like little mix up pressure. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Just a little mix up pressure to like make sure they don't move or anything. Also, his medium strike in the air, it counts as a dive. Well, his air strike is a dive. The medium, the medium strike is a dive. All right, guys, hold up, hold up. All right, guys, I'm back. So, as I was saying, his medium strike is a dive. And it creates a, and a ground bounce. So you can do something like this. Call him Vegeta, get some damage. If I could time it right, hold up. Yeah, but you guys get the get the gist of the whole thing. Yeah, but you guys get the gist of every you guys get the gist of the whole thing. Next up is the EX version. It's 
same like his light strike. But if you press it twice. But if you press it one more time. He knocks your opponent in the air. Alright, so that's for that's basically all there is for this quarter circle. His quarter circle moves. Oh yeah. If you do it in the air. Okay. If you do it in the air, it's a basically it's a wall bounce. If you hit it if you hit an opponent in the air with it, then you can convert. You can do a super you can do a super off of it. So you can get a level one or level three off of it. Next up is this quarter circle forward and the special button, which is what I like to call it the abortion punch or just the straight up gut punch. Hits you and throws a key blast. It's a wall bounce too, so you can get something off of this. Yeah, so you can get something off of this, or you can get something like this off of it. You can get something like that off of it. It's mostly used. It's mostly good in the corner, but this does leave like block swing, and you can hold it to like. I think it does more damage. Yeah, it does a slightly more damage if you hold it, but you can like hold it to like fake out your opponent. And I'm pretty sure you can get a super off of it. Yeah, you can get a super off of it. So it's a good little, like, not a combo starter, but like, if you're in a corner, it's a good combo starter. So it's like, boom. Uh, 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 uh. I mean, you guys get the gist of the whole gut punch, key blast thing. His quarter surf. Well, let's see what else. Quarter circle back. I like to call this the. I like to call. It, I like to call it his Tatsu, or his like spinning top or helicopter. Well, not. It's not a Tatsu. I'm just gonna call it helicopter smack or pimp slap. Is that all you've got? Helicopter pimp slap. Is that all you've yeah, got? I'm calling it helicopter pimp slap. So, this quarter circle back move is just basically a spin. Is that all you've got? Is that all you've got? The medium and EX version is a. Uh, Ground splat. So you can get a super off of the ground splat. So boom, boom. Let me see. Boom, boom. No, I didn't want to do a launcher. You can also cancel the EX moves into supers if you guys didn't know. Yeah, so they can also be done in the air too. So. I think. Let me see. Yeah, so if done in the air after like a launcher, after like a down heavy, it will be a wall splat. If it just if it's just like in the air. Okay, it's only applies to medium. So. In the air, the medium will not do a ground splat. Well, will not do a hard knockdown. The EX one will, but like, the EX will do a hard knockdown, but the medium won't do a hard knockdown. It's only after a heavy that, a me that the medium will actually do a knockdown. So, yeah. If you are close enough, I think. Is that all you got? No, no, I thought I thought you could actually land a right javelin in the air. So anyways, let's just get to the supers. That I kinda just shown off. Uh his quarter circle forward and R1. Since I'm on PS4, his quarter circle R1 is the right javelin, which is a beam that you can control. You can control the angle where it goes. So that's pointing up, and if you jump in the air, that's pointing down. So you can control where the ride javelin goes, which is pretty cool, which it could be useful. In case somebody's above you or below you, you can just chuck it down, chuck it up, doesn't matter. 
all right his quarter circle forward and r2 is saiyan spirit which is a pretty neat move does got enough damage i don't there is yeah you can't get a wall bounce off of it and if you spin the bar you can do right javelin it's kind of like how beers is moving so it's kind of like a beers move you can follow this up with uh an assist a lot of people like to go with vegeta so yeah you can get something like this off of that You can get something like that off after his um after the Saint Spirit. And now for his level three. His quarter circle back is I guess I would call this Saint's Revenge. I'm just gonna call it Bardock Super Saiyan mode. Or Super Saiyan's Revenge. Does decent amount of damage. Oh yeah, his same spirit can be done in the air, and his level 3 can be done in the air. So you can do something like this. If I can get it off. Yeah, so... That's basically Bardock in a nutshell. His playstyle is... Kind of like... Basically, he's a rushdown character. He's like Yamcha, Vegeta. You want to be up in the opponent's face with him. You want to be like close. You want to be all up in the opponent's face with him. He's a. He doesn't have tools to get in or like play a range game. So people like Frieza. Yeah, so people like Frieza, you want to like, he doesn't have, he only has one key left that's kind of like not that good. So you want to be up in the opponent's face with him. You want to get all in him, all the, all the opponent's face. I'm sorry I'm saying this a lot, but I'm, I cannot stress this enough. You want to be in the opponent's face with him. He's a rushdown character. You have to be, you have to get in the opponent's face. He does decent damage, so yeah. I would say he has good tools to get in, mainly his um quarter circle forward and quarter circle forward medium. That's a dive, so you can like super jump, get in, call an assist to be safe. His light save like your opponent's all the way up there. You can do that. Call an assist to make it safe. Not what I wanted to do, but yeah. So you can just no, not just really. not Vegeta either. So yeah, I kind of fucked up there, but you guys kind of understand the gist of it. So yeah, something like this. Yeah, do something like that. So that's that's basically Bardock in a nutshell. I'll post. Well, no, I'll add Bardock's combo videos and I'll add Bardock's combo combo videos in the description. His quarter combo and his mid screen combos that I did for you guys. Anyways, this has been. The hyperbolic tech chamber. I have been Savvy the Savage. Now get out and go play some Dragon Ball. Hopefully play Barda. Don't play Bo don't play Broby. It is big oversized steroid chicken nugget looking ass. I'll I'll do a video on him probably this week or next week. So anyways, this has been Savvy Savage. This has been a Barda breakdown. I'll see you guys later. Chibang. Bitches. You're not gonna get away with